hi everyone thank you for tuning in today's recipe i will be showing you how to make the perfect moi moi which is also known as alele i am rosie and you are welcome to my kitchen i am using the black eye piece you can use the brown beans as well transfer the beans inside a bigger bowl Add enough water to cover the beans. Stir and leave it to soak for about an hour or more. And this is one hour later and the beans is ready for cleaning. I will be using a food processor to break the beans. I'm using the pause button. You can use a blender use the pause button to break it as well and you can also do it by hand i will open the tap and fill it up with enough water and then i will stir with a spatula you can use your hands to do this as well and the skin will go up and then i will strain off the skin and i'm going to be repeating this process until all the skins are off i will be recycling the water until when i'm almost done then i will rinse the beans with a cleaner water to just to save water and i'm going to rinse and at this point this beans is clean enough once that is done Soak the beans for an hour or more so it will be easy for the blender to grind. And if you are not making it that day, save it in the refrigerator. And for the next ingredients, I'm going to be using some red bell peppers, habanero peppers, onions, oil, bouillon, which is the same as mangi, salt, roasted chicken, hard boiled eggs. For moi moi, you can use fish, crayfish, corned beef, any meat of your choice. And if you don't eat meat, you can leave those out. I'm going to be using this pouch. You can use moi moi leaves or cups as well. Here I have the beans. Everything is ready for blending and i will be blending it into a smooth paste for moi moi you can blend it with enough water and once that is done transfer it into a bigger bowl and repeat the process until you are done blending all of the beans And that is done. Next, in another bowl, add salt, add bouillon, which is the same as mangi, and mix it with hot water. And it's best to mix it with hot water and make sure you mix it before adding it inside the beans because you don't want somebody chewing on mangi. And I will put that aside. I'm going to be dicing half onions as well, which I'm going to be using. Next, add some oil in the pan. And once the oil is hot, add in the diced onions and fry the onions for about a minute or two. I'm going to be using this for the moi moi. I love onions. So if you don't like onions in your moi moi, you can totally skip this step. I will take it off the stove and add it to the blended beans. And I will add the minced salt 
and season paste and i'll add that gradually and then mix it until everything is nicely combined so for more more you don't want to waste air into it just mix it until everything is nicely combined and you can taste it and adjust the seasoning at this point make sure there is no too much salt because too much salt will ruin the moi moi and you want to mix it light so that you can have a soft and light moi moi because moi moi tends to harden up when it cools down and this is the consistency i am going for next in a pot i will add in some water and i already have some hot water already and that's what i'm adding in there and i will place in the steamer rack if you don't have a steamer pot you can place in a rack there or use leaves as well open the pouch and add the blended beans do not overfill the pouch add boiled egg and the shredded chicken and seal the bag i will be repeating this process until i am done one tip for making the perfect mamoy so for moi moi, once the beans is blended, you want to make the moi moi right away or you save the blended beans in the refrigerator because blended beans go sour very fast, especially when the weather is hot. And once it goes sour, there is nothing you can do to make that moi moi taste good so be sure to make it right away or you save the blended beans in the refrigerator so here i have everything nicely bagged and it's time to start cooking the moi moi i will open the pot and i'm going to be steam cooking the moi moi so for moi moi you need to steam cook it so adding all the packed beans And I'm going to be cooking it for an hour or until you insert a knife or a spoon into it and it comes out clean. I'm also going to be using the plate. I will spray with oil spray. You can use a brush and oil to brush them as well. Add the blended beans and do not fill up the plate. All in the plate before adding the beans is going to make the moi moi comes out very easily when it's cooked without sticking to the plate. And I will add in the boiled eggs. And add the roasted chicken. So for each moi moi, I use half egg. You can use less. I will cover the plates. If yours did not come with a cover, that's okay. You cover it with aluminum foil as well. And I will add in some hot water. And I'm going to be baking this moi moi in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour or until a spoon or a knife is inserted and it comes out clean and i will be checking it from time to time so this is one hour later and this one here is be cooking and i checked and at this point this moi moi is ready so once the moi moins are ready then we will turn off the stove and then take them out and i will allow the moi moi to cool down a bit before serving so this is one hour later and the oven baked one is out as well so for this one i was checking it and when it needed some water i added a little bit and this is what this moi moi looks like very soft and was super super delicious as well 
so here is my moi moi the moi moi is ready so soft moist and it tasted absolutely delicious thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are not already remain blessed and i will see you in my next video bye